How have you changed as a person since you retired from playing? I've had to uh, look at it from a different, you know, through a different lens. I played it at a certain style. I played it in a certain era. I have to, you know, understand times are different, you know, and successes are totally, you know, evaluated in totally different ways. Um, and it took me a while to distance myself away from it, to not expect so much and not be so critical of so much. But I think I've gotten to that. You see Mark Cuban in Dallas, front row, fan owner. You see Dr. Jerry Buss in L.A., well-known but rarely heard from. What kind of owner do you think you're going to be? Well, I'm closer to the Mark Cuban type, you know, where I'm passionate. When you see me down on the floor, I may yell at the referees every now and then. Uh, I've yet to get a technical, which is good. Yet? Yet. So I am a hands-on owner, uh, but yet it's, I'm an understanding owner because I, I was down in that same position that a lot of these players are in. What do you take from your experiences in Washington, D.C. with the Wizards? that you now bring to apply here? A lot of people look at that as a failure. You know, I don't. You know, granted, everybody looks at, and, and they look at the Washington Wizards situation, and the first thing they think about is Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown. You know, and, and you know, it's no facet, there's no clear-cut understanding or reasoning that you don't make mistakes in the draft pick. You know, if you think about it, if we don't take Kwame Brown at one, someone takes him at two. With all that said, from the time that I got there until the time I left, until what happened after I left. We cleared cap space. We unloaded contracts. I think they made the playoffs, obviously, when I left because they were able to sign uh, Gilbert Arenas and you know, uh, get Butler and you know, Antoine Jameson. All of that was predicated on how we took, took control of what happened when we first got there. When you look at LeBron James, you won your first championship your seventh year in the league. What advice would you give him as he looks now to win his first? First one's always the hardest. And then, you know, as you get that first, the expectation comes. And now you gotta live with those. Yeah, everybody says this is your seventh year and they compare everything to me in, in terms of me winning in my seventh year. And we had some tough battles, you know. But once I got there, I never left, you know. And I think once he gets there, the expectation is that he never should leave. You know, and I, and I wish him the best on that. How important is winning championships to establishing a player's legacy? Well, for all the people who's never won one, they're, gonna, they're always gonna say, oh, it's not that big of a deal. For all the people that have won, it's the greatest accomplishment, and you never can take that away. You know, no matter what happens to me in life, you can never take away that I won six championships, and that helped establish my legacy now. And if you think, if you look at Charles, Charles would probably say he had a great career. He never won, though. Thanks sure, to you. Make sure you tell him that. I will. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.